Um, this exhibition, Liberty, Equality, and Fraternity, was a collaboration uh, with the Wolfsonian Florida International University and the Centre National des Arts Plastiques in Paris. And the CNAP, as it's known, is the collecting entity of the French state. And I was invited to do a design exhibition from their collection, which would look at uh, the French design patrimony, um, but through the lens uh, that the Wolfsonian brings to its collection of the cultural and political and economic context. And so I invited a group of collaborators, uh, Mathilde Crasset, M.M. Paris, and Alexandra Midal, to work with me in a curatorial and design collaboration to present French design from the 1940s to today um, in Miami to an audience that I felt um, would know some of the history but not all of the history. And so this is an exciting exhibition that takes the motto of France, liberty, equality, and fraternity, and looks at some of the main themes and the main uh, historical design figures that have created uh, French design culture today. So included in the exhibition is work by Roger Talon, who unfortunately has recently passed away, um, really the father of French industrial design after the Second World War. Uh, of course, Philippe Stark, who reinvigorated French design and is truly a French uh, global design star from the 1990s to today, as well as many contemporary designers like the Bourlac brothers, Martin Zeckeli, Pierre Charpin, and some of the figures that are known uh, very well in France today, but also um, in the context in Miami within the design fairs that are here now, um, that uh, people are becoming more familiar with the French contemporary designers. Um, the exhibition was organized in nine um, thematic sections, and each section either takes um, an idea or takes a character, a sort of mon monographic approach. And so, for example, Mathilde Crasset, who's one of my collaborators, um, one section focuses on ideal home. And in her work, she has really contested our, our um, agreed upon relationship with the built environment and objects and has created uh, objects that have a multiple uh, expression multiple uses in in terms of being able to redefine the environment and our relationship to the objects. Uh, again, someone like Philippe Stark, whose work is so widely known and has done everything from a toothbrush to uh, architecture, uh, we tried to select in Philippe Stark's work a kind of manifesto and thinking about him as a design star who um, uh, was able to bridge the gap between working for the high elite. So we have pieces here that were done for the Elysee Palace, the French presidential home, um, as well as products that are done for a mass audience for a company called Trois Suisse, which is a mail order catalog. And so we wanted to present those two poles of French design. Another theme that runs through liberty, equality, and fraternity is um, how we characterize French design, perhaps most popularly, as being really an elite craft-oriented design culture. So working against the pre-war uh, idea of the decorator or the ensemblier uh, with the more uh, technological uh, engineering aspect of design, modularity, monumentalism, and work such as that by uh, Jean Prouvé, for example. So we've tried to give a picture of French design that not only reminds us of some of the things we already know, but also to re repropose a reading of French design history within a political and cultural context. The exhibition, Liberté, Equality, and Fraternity, 
was organized ex as a collaboration and instead of curating it myself with a list of objects and then handing it off to designers to design the set and the book, I decided to work the whole project as a collaboration and so the designers and I worked together as a curatorial and design team. And with that, taking the motto of France as the overarching idea. The designers M.M. and uh, Mathilde Cresset and Alexandre Midal used the idea of Le Corbusier's modular, the metric system that he devised based on the human body, to be the, um, the theme that runs throughout the design of the show. And they made a sort of kit, I, I'd say, a kit of parts to create the scenography for the show. So every element is really drawn from this one uh, essential element of the modular of Le Corbusier. Of course, working with French designers and giving them the title of the show, um, I think they also wanted to, in a kind of wink, ironic way, to say, you, you know, this is really about French design, so we'll also make the colors of the show red, uh, white, and blue, and also to put the title of the show in French, Liberté, Égalité, Fraternité, on all of the structural elements of the exhibition.